Yeah, and and I think too the um those that get out of DPDR still may have the underlying conditions. I could almost see in some cases that getting out of the DPDR and then being able to feel all the anxiety or the trauma or Mm -hmm. uh, maybe even another complete mental illness underlying it would almost be worse in a way where they might miss DPDR. Like, man, this this sucks feeling all this anxiety and trauma. I want to be depersonalized again. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's good to be numb sometimes. It, 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 it's a, it's a mechanism to like not feel pain, right? Um, so definitely, uh, I myself have felt that when I was coming out of my DPDR, I would get anxious so much and I would start, you know, having this underlying panic because the, I, I, yeah, that's the thing. Like you, I just didn't know what was, what was like out of balance with my life. And not having that awareness lead, led me to have like all of this anxiety and panic. And the DPDR was like a band-aid for all of that. But the DPDR itself was scary and confusing. So that's a, that's a whole story in itself. Um, but uh, yes, you are right. Like, you know, when, when you, when you start coming out, you are going to feel all of these feelings. That's why I place like a lot of importance on resolving underlying issues. So if you have trauma, do go and like, you know, visit a trauma therapist. There are people who specialize in this. They will be able to help you out. Uh, If you have existential issues, go visit like a talk therapy person, like talk it out or, or make the required changes in your life. You know, sometimes you don't know what those changes are and that's why it helps to talk, talk it out with a therapist. But once you come to know what you got to do, like if you're making the required actions if you're making the required changes i i definitely believe that it it will help you get out of that anxiety or even get out of that trauma eventually